Okay, so in this video, I'm going to try to make solving system of equations by elimination as simple as possible. I know a lot of you, when you see these types of problems on your tests, you feel a little bit overwhelmed. That's completely understandable. But I'm hoping that by the end of this video, you'll feel more confident when you have these types of problems. So what is solving a system of equations? Well, usually when you have two equations, and those equations have two variables, meaning two letters. In this case, the two letters are x and y. When there's two variables and you're solving for them, we're trying to figure out what x is equal to and what y is equal to, you're usually solving a system of equations. You're not just solving one equation, but a system of two. Okay, so now that we understand what solving a system of equation means, how do you do it by eliminating? So. What I like to do is I just like to draw boxes over the x's. I like to draw a box over the y's. And then I like to draw boxes over the constants or the numbers by themselves. The reason why I like to draw these boxes is to help me to understand what my goal is. My goal is that when I put each of these boxes together, when I add them together, whatever's in the box, I want either the x's to disappear or the y's to disappear. So how does that work? Well, it just has to be the opposite. So if I have negative two on the two X on the top and I had positive two X on the bottom, if they were together in the box and I added them together, they would cancel each other out and the X's would be eliminated. Let me show you that again. If I had four Y on the top and negative four Y on the bottom, if they're in the same box together, I add them together because they're the opposites of the same number, the same value, when I add them together, they would equal zero or they would cancel each other out and they would be eliminated. So when I look at my equations, my system of equations, I want to say, can I eliminate the X's by adding them together or can I eliminate the Y's by adding them together? So right now, you don't see anything that we've just showed over here. You don't see that the X's are the same, just opposite. And same thing with the Y's. They're not the same, but opposite. So what we have to do is we have to change something slightly so that in one of those boxes, you see the same thing on the top and the same thing on the bottom. So I'm going to show you how that can be done. So I'm going to look at this equation and I'm going to say, I have a couple of ways of doing this, but I think the easiest way would be if I multiplied the entire top equation by negative 3, this would become negative 9x, and then you'll have a 9 on the top and a 9 on the bottom. So let's go ahead and see if this works. I'm going to bring this equation down just so that we can work with it nice and fresh. And we're going to multiply the entire equation. That means both sides by the number 3. So 3 times 3x is 9x. Oops, negative 3. My apologies. So negative 3 times 3x will be negative 9x. Negative 3 times y would be negative 3y. And negative 3 times 11 would be a negative 33. Perfect. So now I'm going to go ahead and bring down my other equation. 9x plus 2y is equal to 28. And now I'm going to redraw my boxes. So I'm going to make my boxes over the x's. I'm going to make my box over the y's. And I'm going to also draw my box around the, sorry. And I'm also going to draw my box around the constants. Okay, so when I add the negative 9x plus 9x, what happens? They cancel each other out and the x's are eliminated. That was my goal, to solve the system of equation by elimination, eliminating a variable, either the x's or the y's. So because I eliminated the x's, Let's see what I have left. So negative 3y plus 2y. Again, we're adding the boxes. So that would be negative 1y. And then we have negative 33 plus 28. So that would be negative 5. Then I'm just going to go ahead and solve for y. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1, negative 1. y is going to be equal to negative 5 divided by negative 1. And that is going to equal 5. So y is going to be equal to 5. So by eliminating the x's, we were able to solve for y. So now let's go ahead and put that number 
5 into our original equation to see if we can solve for x. So it's 3x plus y is equal to 11. We now know that x is equal to 5, should be equal to 11. So now we're going to go ahead and solve for x. So we're going to subtract 5 from both sides. 3x is equal to 6. And we're going to divide by 3, divide by 3, and x is going to be equal to 2. So x is equal to 2, y is equal to 5. We just solved a system of equation by elimination. We were able to find what x is equal to and what y is equal to. Now, if we're going to give that answer, sometimes the teacher will ask, or the professor, or the test taker, or whatever you're doing, will ask to put it as a point. You write it as an x, y point, which would be 2 comma 5. Now, if we want to test it to make sure, hey, did we get the right answer or not, let's go ahead and test it. We could test it by putting the answer for y and the answer for x into the equation. So 3 times 2 plus 5 should equal 11. 6 plus 5 equals 11. That is correct. And then we can use the second equation, 9x plus 2y equals 28. And we can test that as well. 9 times 2 plus 2 times 5 equals 28. 9 times 2 is 18 plus 10 equals 28. 28 is equal to 28, and that is correct. So we were able to solve for the system of equations 2 comma 5. What does that mean in terms of equations? It can mean something different depending on what kind of question you've been given. So sometimes you're given a word problem and it can be applied to a word problem. Sometimes it can talk about, okay, I graphed these two lines. At what point would these two lines intersect? The answer would be two comma five. So now that we know how to solve a system of equations by elimination, I'm going to show you guys how to solve a system of equations by graphing. And that's gonna be in my next video and I'll have it linked below as soon as I post it. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys in the next one.